Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we got no problems. We're going to continue talking about... Gravity is a fascinating subject, and we learned last time about the uh, equation for gravity, if you recall. F equals G M1 M2 over R squared. So now we want to learn how to use this mathematically. Folks, it's crazy easy. So we've got the 45 kilogram grandfather and the 12 kilogram dog. What's the force of gravity between the two of them? Well, F of G is equal to uh, 45 kilograms grandfather times the uh, 12 kilogram dog. That's M1 times M2 times the big fancy number 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th divided by R squared. And R is the distance between them apart and they're one meter apart. That's squared. And you get the math and you get this number. Now let's talk about this number. 3.6 times 10 to the minus 8th newtons. Folks, you realize that's a tiny number, right? Itty bitty small number right there. Because we're talking about the traction between these two objects. Let's compare that to the, to the attraction he has for the Earth, right? We know F equals MA from uh, previous videos. We would just take uh, his mass, the mass of the, of, the, of the guy, 45, times roughly 10. So his attraction to the Earth is 450 newtons compared to 10 to the minus 8 newtons. That's why we can't tell any attractive forces between the dog and the man or between you and anything else because you're so attracted to the Earth. Because the mass of the Earth, right, is not 45, but some monster, monster number. So uh, it's a very, very weak force. But it's a very, very weak force that works and keeps the universe together. Because when you have great distances, the only force that applies is for all intents and purposes, is gravity. So, well, let's take a look here at example number two. Now, this is a little bit more complex because we have now vectors, because it's all forces or vectors. We know this whole ball game. So we have the space shuttle, and we've got some angle here going on right here. And so we know that on our triangle, if you will, right, that, that this, if it's three, what would you call it, three kilometers here, the distance from here to here is one and a half uh, kilometers, right? And so, on our triangle right here, they, we know that, well, we don't know that, but we know the distance from here to here is 3.0 kilometers, right? So what we need to have is we need to figure out what this distance is here. All right, now we've also got this one here, right, when we're looking at the problem. And, but we're, it's, yeah, so let's find the, the, the force. Basically, what you need to find is you need to find this distance here. And we'll just use Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to say 3 squared plus 1 and a half squared square root, because that's the Pythagorean theorem. And I come out to 3.35. Get your calculator, trust me. So this number here is 3.35 kilometers. Now, why is that important? Because that's, I need to find the radius, right? Because we're going to plug this into the equation. F equals g m m over r squared. And we needed this number to plug in here. So now I plug in my numbers. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th times the mass of the space shuttle. Now we're talking about a number that's relatively big, right? Um, the space shuttle weighs 2.5 times 10 to the 7th kilograms times the mass of the uh, planets that weigh 3.5 times 10 to the 11th kilograms divide by r squared. Now r is 3.35 kilometers, but we have to put that in in meters, so there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so that's 3350 meters squared. Get your calculator, this times this times this, divided by this squared, and you come up with 52 newtons. So that's the, that's the force that's being acted on by the space shuttle to one of the planets. But if you wanted to find the total force, you would add the two together. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to solve, the way the question's written, is to solve for what's the force between here and here. And one last thing before we finish up this video, I want to talk about a pretty cool concept called escape velocity. Because of gravity, you have to, you have to like shoot things up at a certain speed or they can't escape. So the escape velocity, this escape is the velocity it takes, well, to escape. 
the gravitational field of a planet, a sun, an asteroid, or whatever. And of course, guess what? It's like a math equation, it's crazy easy. So V has to be greater than or equal to the square root of 2G M over R. And then M would be the mass of the planet, let's say the mass of the Earth. And I think the interesting question is, if I'm gonna shoot a rocket up, how fast does it need to go to get it away from the Earth so it can go to the moon or Mars? We'll plug in the problem. So that's the question right here, right? Look at the example. Uh, I'm going to take two times gravitational constant. We know that mass of the Earth. We know the mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms divided by the radius of the Earth in meters. Now, notice the problem says in kilometers. I'm going to do the quick calculations and add three zeros. 6371000 meters. And that's all in a square root. And when you do this math, you get a pretty big number. 11,200 meters per second. Now, oftentimes that's, uh, that's a big number. We'll say it this way, 11.2 kilometers per second. Now think about that. I, I, you know, I, I've done 10Ks and run, running races. A 10K is, is, is 6.2 miles. So let's call this seven miles. Seven miles a second. Folks, that's fast. And you've got a big heavy rocket. Think about the force you've got to get that to get up to seven miles a second or 11.2 kilometers a second. But that's for the Earth. Now, if you are a more massive object, if you're Jupiter, where M is much, much bigger, then it's a much, much bigger number. So you can see this, you, to escape the Earth, this gravitational field, it's gonna take something moving pretty dead going fast. And again, we've known this for a long time. That's how we shot, we shoot satellites up, uh, we, things to the moon, Mars. If you don't get this, ain't gonna happen. It's gonna stay captured by the Earth. Houston, we don't problems. We got this. Gravity, I think it's awesome and cool. We'll see you in class.